mentioned that you were going from guru to guru, right? Did you have bad experiences with some of the gurus? Like, no, what's the right approach to working with one? No, no, I'm a student. I'm just a student. And pretty much I worked with Dave for about eight or nine shows. And pretty much I, I know how to do what he does. I work with a lot of different people, some people longer than others. And once I learn what you're teaching me, I mean, I'm not supposed to stay in the 12th grade forever. I just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So people would always approach me. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. I'm like, okay, cool. And then, you know, I did really well with Dennis James. Um, But like I say, after 14, I was ready to retire anyway, as far as I'm like, I I don't think I'm going to ever, maybe I'll win a show, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to be in the top five in Olympia again or nothing like that just because of the way the pecking order is and just, you know, I'm, I'm not willing to keep on getting bigger and bigger. I wasn't, you know, plus I'm like, I'm getting older. So my reality started kicking in around 13, 14. Um, I stayed a couple of years longer uh, cause I was still having fun. I was still making money and I didn't really have my exit strategy all planned out. Once I decided I was going to retire at 50, I started getting my shit together, but then I injured myself and it was like, you know, I had to do something different. Which I'm, I'm really glad that that happened because I'm a changed man now. So mm-hmm. I really loved what I used to do. Um, it's over now. I literally have I, I, my mentality wouldn't even allow me to get ready for a show. Now I would do an exposi- exhibition type mm-hmm. situation, but as far as wanting to compete and you know get on stage and kick ass and all that, uh, those days are are gone. Now you mentioned. Um it's difficult to get the peak, right? To dial in mm-hmm. before the show. And I hear it from so many bodybuilders. They look perfect the day before and just on a day they, they look off. Like why, why is it so difficult to nail that? You know what I'm saying? And, and why so many people miss it? Well, first and foremost, uh, a lot of the, the reasons why it's hard to nail it on stage is because the production is not precise. In other words, in NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, every player knows exactly how it's going to go other than the timeouts and penalties and shit like that. They know we're going to start kickoff at 1 o'clock. We're going to play 15 minutes, and then we go, you know what I'm saying? We got three, you know what I'm saying? Sure. We don't have that. We go to the show. They tell us how it's going to be, and then we try to match as good as we can. So, you know, when I say peak, I mean it don't get no better than this. It's downhill from here. That lasts anywhere from an hour to you. It's hard. You won't, probably won't even get 24 hours. I figure you can get 12 to 24 hours. I'm talking about if you're in really, really good condition, the show's flowing, you know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's so hard to do. It's like, in order to peak, it's like trying to hit a moving target while you're moving. I mean, it's really hard to do. Um, a lot of guys, you see them and you think that was their best. And then if you had a song, you know, in the hotel room or or whatever. Um, it, so it's really hard to do. I peaked the 95 Nationals in Houston's in the bathroom about an hour and a half after prejudging. I didn't have any water backstage. There was no literally zero water. So I dehydrated, flattened out. Went to the car, drunk a half a gallon of water and I, and I went to the restaurant sip the rest of the water, got my food. I started eating. I could literally feel myself, my whole body just pumped up. I, I, I did another interview and I tried to describe what it feels like when you peak. It feels like a, a total body erection. It's like <laughs> all your blood is in your muscles and they're pushing against the skin. It's like a shrink wrap. It's a crazy feeling. I know most people have never felt it before. That's crazy. Um, how, long does it, how long does it peak last for? Like I say, when I peaked in... I peeked at the bottom of the stairs in 08. As I was walking up the stairs and Bob was announcing my name, I literally felt that whole endorphin rush and all my muscles just, poof. when I hit that first front double bicep, it was crazy. And and um, Lee Haney told me, he said, Tony, I did, you know, how many ever shows he did, he said, I only peaked one time and that was at the finals. Wow. Uh, at the 91 Mr. Olympia. And I saw it because I, I was there. I, I saw the prejudging and it was kind of close. I mean, Dorian had, you know, he was like, damn, Dorian, damn, okay. Then the night show, they had this stage that turned around like that. Mm-hmm. And so everybody went and Lee was last and he turned around and I was like, it didn't even look like the same dude. It was insane. Wow. I was just like, wow. So yeah, and then and later on I had a conversation with him. He told me, he said, I peaked. In that moment, it's part 
it's conditioning, it's timing, and then you add the emotion part to it. And then when you put the adrenaline with the lights and all that, I mean, it's crazy. Victor, Victor peaked uh, at the 07 Olympia. I saw it myself. I mean, I don't need, <laughs> wow. It was, wow. It was insane. Oh, you were there. I was there. So I'm coming down the hallway at the Orleans and Victor's number one. So he was there early. And I, I forgot, I was like, you know, I was like a few guys later. But I got there early and Chad was putting his oil on. He's standing in the hallway. Literally, I, I, I was walking closer. And I was like, damn, I was like, who the fuck is that? I got <laughs> closer and I saw Victor. And as I got closer and closer, I was like, Shh. I was like, he won. There's, there's no way. And we all saw, you know, I mean, we all saw. So, but I saw it before. I mean, I saw it at its height because you, you're talking about he's the first person that's about to go out. I know that feeling. That's what happened to me in 08. That's how I know what I'm talking about. Man, it's a, it's a crazy feeling. That's why in this sport, what I wish they really would do is when you see an athlete, because everybody knows it rarely happens. You ever, it rarely happens. Flex Wheeler, 93. Dorian Yates, 93. It just, they don't, you just ain't seen them better than that. When you see that, they, that should be an automatic here. <laughs> no matter if you, no matter if we don't even know what your last name is yet, because it's such a rare, it's such a rare thing. It really, really is.